do you want to experience how it feels to speed through a desert? Or drive up the hills of a mountain? Or maybe you want to go swimming with your car? To do all these, most likely you need to own multiple vehicles, but not anymore. The one car capable of it all is the Land Rover Defender. What a rugged name. But don't be deceived by that name. It's a luxury SUV. The latest generation of the Land Rover Defender is a luxurious take on the classic American Jeep. But what does this car entail exactly? And how good is the Defender? Let's find out. The 23 Land Rover Defender is the ultimate combination of luxury and off-road capabilities. This spacious SUV, available in both two-door and four-door styles, has room for up to three rows of seating and comes equipped with standard all-wheel drive, perfect for tackling any terrain. The Defender's boasting comfortable and modern cabins with top-notch infotainment and tech features, as well as a range of engines from a turbocharged four-cylinder to a more powerful inline-six and V8 options. But what makes the Defender special is its exceptional on-road performance, giving it a level of refinement unmatched by competitors. Really, nobody comes close. Let's start from the engine. The Defender comes equipped with a powerful turbocharged four-cylinder, an eight-speed automatic transmission, ready to tackle any ground with its four-wheel drive and locking differentials. For even more oomph, there's an option of a 3.0-liter inline-six with an electric supercharger and hybrid system or the top-of-the-line 518-horsepower supercharged V8 that can rocket the Defender from 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Ooh, ooh. That sounds so juicy. 0 to 60 in 4 seconds. Remarkable. The Defender's not exactly the most fuel-efficient SUV, but it can venture farther off the beaten path than most utility vehicles. And it does this while maintaining a civilized demeanor while driving around town. How much you think this work of art costs? Why don't you take a guess in the comments down below? Go on. Now, let's see if you got it right. The Defender 110 model starts at $53,400 for the four-door version and $54,000 for the two-door short wheelbase Defender 90. The mid-range Defender 10 starts at $88,300 for the two-door and $90,800 for the four-door. For those looking for a little extra luxury, the Defender V8 models come at a steeper price point, with a two-door ranging from $107,900 to $115,000, and the four-door retailing for between $111,300 to $118,400. Safety is a strong suit of the Defender, as it's built with a tough frame and loaded with impressive safety features as standard. This makes it especially appealing for families. Standard safety technology in the vehicle includes automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, and traffic sign recognition, while the SE model adds blind spot warnings and a rear traffic monitor. All models come equipped with anti-lock and brakes to help you safely stop on the road. The 360-degree camera also provides a comprehensive view of your surroundings, while lane keeping assist and automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection help keep you on track and safe. You also enjoy the added security of blind spot monitors and can upgrade to adaptive cruise control for an even more seamless driving experience. Okay, now we've said how great and amazing this SUV is, but is that all there is? There's a saying that goes, all that glitters is not gold. So is this also true with the Defender? First off, deserved or not, Land Rover has always had a reputation for building unreliable vehicles, and the Defender might just be another addition to the circus. In a survey conducted by Reliability Index, the Land Rover Defender got the worst score possible. For an SUV like the name Defender, you'd think they'd be very reliable, but it's not. A majority of owners reported that their car needed repairs within the first three years of ownership, and most of these repairs also took more than five days to complete. The most common problems reported are leaking rainwater seals, key fob or locking malfunctions, and various engine failures. So if your heart is set on purchasing a Land Rover Defender, our advice would be to try to spot these issues before they get worse. 
The Land Rover Defender's interior is another area we're also going to be scrutinizing. While the interior features mostly upscale materials and a sharp, somewhat rugged design, you might find that the overall quality isn't up to par for such a pricey vehicle. We're not discrediting the interior. The quality of it is good, but not up to par with the other SUVs in the same price range. The Defender has a smooth ride. We'll give it that, but the Turbo 6 engine lacks agility. When it comes to fuel efficiency, this is one of the major weaknesses of the Land Rover Defender. The 90 model with the four-cylinder engine gets 18 miles per gallon in the city and 21 on the highway. If you upgrade to the six-cylinder engine, the city rating dips slightly 17 miles to the gallon, but the highway rating jumps up to 22 miles per gallon. The 110 model with a six-cylinder engine boasts the same fuel efficiency ratings as the six-cylinder 90. If raw power is what you're after, the V8 variant delivers 14 miles per gallon in the city and 19 miles per gallon on the highway. Price is also a very big issue for this vehicle. While the basic models are relatively affordable, options can quickly ramp up the price to over $80,000. Things get even more expensive once the buyer adds on desirable options and packages. The Defender's a great vehicle, but there's less expensive SUVs in its class. Fans addicted to its impressive off-roading ability probably won't mind, but when you factor in Defender's high likelihood of needing repairs, it's suddenly not looking so juicy anymore. One of the most annoying issues drivers had with the Defender was an intermittent suspension fault message that would pop up in the central driver display. And this pop-up was more than just an annoying warning. The air suspension controls also wouldn't respond. This would end up locking the Defender in whatever ride height it was at prior to the failure, which is not the best of experiences. And all these are the issues facing our dear Land Rover Defender. So moving on to the next topic. Oh, that's not all? Ah, okay. Another frequent issue that plagues the Defender is overheating. Your Defender could just stumble one and show an overheating issue with no previous warning. Several dealers have stated this is a common issue. Your vehicle could be mechanically sound with no issues or anything and suddenly you have an overheating problem. One of the Defender's hidden surprises. The rear hatch of the SUV also has an awkward opening angle. And that's not all. It's also very heavy. This makes loading and unloading cargo more of a chore than it needs to be. So, now that we've considered both the good and bad sides of the Land Rover Defender, is it a reliable vehicle? Well, that depends on your definition of reliable. Are you willing to sacrifice the bad for the good? Which one weighs more to you? There isn't a one shoe that fits all. You have to examine the pros and cons and see if it'll be the right SUV for you. We want to thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and of course, subscribe if you're not already with us. You have a wonderful day, drive safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.